while. True. We all have our own favorite ways of doing infinite loops. You can do either of those. I think there's quite a few more that you can do, but I like the infinite four. And then you want to go my player. Oops, that was a typo and a half. Dot. My player doesn't seem to be declared. Hmm. My player dot. My play. Yeah, there you go. For some reason it wasn't having that. So we're going to read information for our own player. And then we're going to call ESP, which is a function we have not yet declared, and we will declare in a second. So, <laughs> so let's go up to uh, read process memory and let's add um, world screen to that. Okay. So simply copy this. Okay. Just do that. Simply copy that bit of code. Make that full on there. And. <clears throat> So we're going to read process memory, handle process, and we know this is part of DWOD engine, so, oops, for fuck's sake, come on, and just go V matrix here so we know what we're doing, and DWOD engine, which is right, this is where we pull the number of players, here we count the number of, uh, sorry, we don't count the number of anything, we just reuse DWOD engine, I'm talking crap now, uh, should have V matrix at the top, what did I declare it as? So we declare that as DWV matrix, which is fine. So we go DWAD engine plus that that address in memory, which is fine. And um, yep, I'm happy with that. So if we go there, that's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, DWAD. And we want to store, we want to declare here, just declare this value here, which I accidentally left. So all we're doing is declaring world screen matrix. And grab that and put that in there. And we're gonna go size of. Make sure the size of is right because if it's not, uh, you will not grab the information we need, and it will definitely not work. So we want to pull, and we want to go and uh, no, no, no. oh, put that in the wrong one. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Fuck. Too too zoomed in. Uh, we want to put it in this one here. So number of players and size of. Make sure it's world screen uh, matrix, which is fine. So do that. And that's brilliant, 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 brilliant. So we've got enough information here. This gives us all we need for our world screen. Now, we're going to write the anti-flicker code in place just so that we we can use it later on, but it, I'll show you how it works without that. So we're going to declare a variable called flicker check. Int flicker check. And just leave that as it is. And then we say if flicker check equals zero, I guess you don't have to do uh, curly braces, but I'll do them for this example. <clears throat> Flicker check equals zero, blah, blah, blah. So all we're saying here, this one pulls an integer as well. So that gets the view matrix, and then flicker, anti-flicker. Uh, we do that again, and except we use flicker check. So size of int, which is fine, and it goes into flicker check. Now the place where this one goes is Mm -hmm. the, the address we're pointing towards here uh, so that gets that address in memory and flick a check so what I'm trying to figure out is if this is the best way to do this I don't have to go back and code and get get that address in memory which sucks D 58C45C uh, so I'm just wondering I'm just going to do a quick calculation here to figure something out. Um, so if I do, so that's a flicker check, 58B8. So if I do this variable, sorry, uh, it's been a while since I've got these variables, so that's why I'm a little bit on edge here. I'll make sure, I want to make sure this works for you guys. So yeah, that's the right one. So like I said earlier, I, I confused myself a little bit. I tend to do this mid-tutorials. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you guys are used to this by now. So all you do is get this address here. So I've done that minus one a four. You get this address here. Just going to paste this for a second, and then write that variable there. So const d word dw anti flick equals, and it will be zero times that, and that's the variable that we're using here. So all all that is is this address minus one a four in memory. So that will always give you the right address. So I was wondering if there was a mistake there, which there isn't. So uh, make sure you do dw anti flick, and that's flicker check, and then we say if flicker check equals zero, boom, we have that. So Let's comment this out for now, and then we'll enable it later on. Um, <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, so we're going to move on to, I'm going to zoom in a little bit now, just so we can get back into it. Yeah, leave that comment there, why not? Um, so we declare the variables, added world to screen, re we've read world to screen matrix in memory, which will allow us to convert the coordinates from 3D to 2D. We've coded in the main loop, and now we're going to code world to screen, uh, the world to screen function. Um, we do have an error in place, but don't worry about that, it's just ESP. So let's go up here to, do, 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 do. there's a world to screen. Now this is really the heart of the entire ESP here. Uh, it's a bit of a bastard of a function, and if you're good at maths, you'll understand it well. Um, so if you'd like to take some time and read it and go over it, go for it. But um, it's something that I'm not the biggest fan of, so I will not go over it. Uh, so I'll just go over the code. Oh, shit. All right, so we're going to go just above draw field rectangle, which is quite at the top, draw field rectangle. Do we have that function somewhere? There it is, yeah. Okay, so just here, we're going to go bool world to screen, right? And this is pretty much the most amount of writing we'll have to do, so it's not that much of a big deal in this tutorial. So float, we're going to pass one array from and float to. Again, this is Sobate's function, it's not mine. So if you want to go online and look up his code, which will be exactly the same as this one, you'll probably there'll probably be some more description regarding the code. So <clears throat> a lot of the times people can use. Feel free to just copy what I'm doing, by the way, guys. A lot of the time people will, people will use uh, the built-in engine functions. And they're very good a lot of the time, but I don't like to use. So my player dot uh, world to screen matrix dot fl matrix. Zero. Zero. So we're checking the first initial elements here. So yeah, a lot of the time people like to use built-in engine functions. They can work really well, but the problem with them is that you know they work in one game and they probably won't work in any others because obviously different games have different functions. So we times that by from plus player dot word to screen. And by the way, if any of you guys is very sharp at maths or anything like that and would like to give um, an explanation of um, what how this works here feel free to go for it the bits that that I understand are very minimal and I do understand how it works but nowhere near enough to explain to you guys how this works so um, so feel free to go for it so I'm just gonna just gonna copy this quickly to make sure um, I don't make any mistakes so zero one times from one because if I make a mistake it'll take me hours to figure out where I went wrong so my plan World screen plus my player dot for fuck's sake or IntelliSense. What have I done wrong here? Should have done FL matrix, should I have? Yep, there you go. IntelliSense C plus plus is fucking gay. <sighs> my player dot um, and then same again. You see as you can see there's a lot to this, so we will copy it the bits that we are doing. So FL matrix zero one uh, times from Zero, 0 times from good idea would have probably been to make this smaller bit of text and it would have facilitated things for us so from uh, one it's fine from one my player dot um, word screen matrix so look at that dot FL matrix so as you can see this is a bit of a bastard of a zero and then two times from to plus it's not over yet guys don't think that's the case and then we copy just copy this bit of code here and that will be a three there so make sure that's okay before I copy it over so so we're doing the screen zero, zero times from zero plus I play the word screen matrix matrix one times one and then two times two and then plus three okay good and so that's two zero and then just copy the entire thing and we're going to make a small amount of changes here one is one zero yeah this is the toughest part of this um, 
of this ESP, or I guess most ESPs, is the maths for the water screen. Once you've got that out of the, out of the way, everything else is straightforward and generally pretty easy. So that's a one, two, and the last one is one, three, of course, yeah. Hopefully, I didn't make a mistake there. Oh, fuck off. <sighs> Alright, so if W, so once we figure this out, is less than 0.01F, return false. And yeah, I knew I was forgetting something there. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Of course, zero would equal. Uh, sorry, I think it would equal that value because I haven't even signed it. So, and copy that over again. Okay, we need to make sure you said the right values there. So, uh, three zero times from zero, which is correct. Word screen matrix. Uh, three one. Times from one and then three two, which is fair enough, and I believe that's three three. But let's make sure it is. Yep, that's what I thought. And hopefully that's correct. And then we check that and we check that we gives us our right value, and that should be the part that tells us if our player is on screen. I believe I'm not too sure of that though. Float inverse w equals one point zero f. Divided by W, 2, 0, times equals, uh, inverse w, invert W, and then same for that one. <coughs> Did make, sh make sure I'm zoomed in for you guys. And then int width equals... Um, I want to be talking about some random nonsense here, but uh, probably should be focusing on this. Equals int, so we're casting this to int, and then m rectangle, which is the window we used to cover the entire game, right? Minus rectangle. Did I did I explain this earlier on? I I think this is something I still will be explaining. Um, <clears throat> So that gives us the width of the window, which is uh, the right side minus the left side, and that gives us the window, So, which will probably be 1280 for me and whatever resolution you're using for yours, and that will allow us to pinpoint exactly where to put that 2D point. And then the same will happen for our height. This is the easy part, I guess. We've done the most difficult one. Um, height, and it's bottom minus top. Okay, that's fine. And then what we'll do is we'll do float x, which is where our coordinates, where, our, where we're going to draw, equals width divided by 2, that's our center point, and float y equals height divided by 2. Sorry, my typing is absolutely fucking terrible. <clears throat> x plus equals 0 0.5 times 2, 0. And um, this will be times width plus 0 0.5 okay and then just do the same for y I'm going to modify this a little bit plus equals minus equals this time okay minus equals 0 0.5 times 2 1 uh, times width sorry times height on that one and boom that's that bit and now we just need to do the final bit which is 2 0 uh, equals <coughs> person with no fingers would probably type better than me at this point I think uh, x plus m rect dot left Oops. dot left yep and that's our two point and then we're going to say our two element one point which is y plus basically top which is fine and we're going to return true if it gets to this point which means the enemy is in our screen which means we're going to draw them. Okay, so that's all that does. In essence, I guess you can check this when you're using Namebot to make sure you don't aim at enemies outside of your screen. 
but it doesn't give you great results I don't think so we've done that now the next step of the tutorial will be to code our ESP and then our draw ESP so the function that's given us an error here we're gonna code that now so where is the ESP coded Do -do 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 -do. 